So, scrum is a process framework that we know. So, what all things are there in scrum? So, first thing is the product backlog. What is the product backlog? Yeah. Items. Item can be epic story feature. So, every entry in the product backlog is a product backlog item and user stories are one of the ways to write product backlog items. The many organizations still using use cases and doing agile well, no problem. Because use cases are also powerful. Many organizations do function point analysis and do scrum well, that is also not a problem. But when you look at user story versus function points versus use cases, in the others some of the values are compromised. When you go into use cases function points, you end up doing so many comprehensive documentation. Make sense now? So, why use case is less of agile compared to user stories? User stories promotes interaction and less of documentation. Next what? So, we have a product backlog which you said prioritized, although that is not only the thing prioritized estimated way. So, story pointing is not mandatory, but very powerful way of doing estimations in an agile way. So, product backlog estimated prioritized two minimum criteria apart from it, it should be detailed appropriately and also emergent continuously evolve ok, owned by the product owner. Next sprint planning. So, sprint planning is the first activity that we do as part of the time box. What is the time box called? A sprint ok. What is the idea of sprint planning? Coming up with a goal and sprint backlog. Now, you had a product backlog which had items, what will be the sprint backlog? Uh, what will it contain? Mostly it is the tasks, sprint goal, a business like summary of what you want to achieve. Now, what next? Execute. Now, you say from planning, now you are doing into execute, ok. I represent execute 1 to 4 weeks. So, this 1 to 4 weeks is from planning, fine, ok. So, now we are doing execution. What is the meaning of this executing? Build a product deliver the service, it could be anything. When it is build a software product, what could be there in executing? RDBT. So, just to have a again more general jargon, what is this executing? Completing the tasks. Now, everything is covered. What do you do in sprint? We complete the tasks. Which task? Testing task, coding task, analysis task, fine or upgrading hardware, upgrading software, upgrading software version, all this could be tasks. Anything that you that a team does is task. Task and item, what are the differences? Item, more of functionality needed. In English, we, I simply say more of noun, login functionality, noun, task, coding, testing, verbs. So, more of nouns is product backlog item, activities or verbs are tasks. So, so one example to differentiate between an item and a task, okay, database upgrade, product backlog item or sprint backlog, database upgrade, sprint backlog, product backlog, product backlog, okay, upgrading database. Now, you see the difference? When you say product uh, uh, database upgrade, it is a product backlog item. Upgrade database is now sounding more like a task. So, that is how you differentiate. Yes, it is the same thing, but so login functionality product backlog item. To do login, to achieve login functionality, design UI, code, test, more actions, activities. So, sprint backlog item. Clear the differentiator? Okay. So, 1 to 4 weeks during this development team meets at least daily. So, now what happens after this let us say 4 weeks, ok. So, first thing is the product gets built which is called increment, fine. Now, increment product increment, after that demo or review, demo is part of the review. What is the outcome of the review? Sorry? Feedback. feedback on? 
product or the service that you are delivering, okay, which goes back as new items in the product backlog club. And then sprint retrospective, simple so far, PDCA, planning, doing, check, inspecting, adapting and transparency lies across. What happens to the outcome of the retrospective? Where does it go? It, there might be some uh, things which might as well have to go into the product backlog item, but mostly it is more about looking into the next planning. Okay, So, these are our improvements. How can we implement these improvements? Backlog. So, let us discuss in the planning now. Let us say it was about upgrading the database or let us start doing DevOps. So, implementing DevOps becomes an improvement area. So, task. Let us directly have a couple of tasks in the next sprint planning session. Anything missing in the Scrum framework here? It can happen because we discussed the whole framework, Scrum Master did not come once, product owner came when we are discussing, development team came when we are discussing execution, where is the Scrum Master? Typically, there is no one place where you can associate to the, associate with the Scrum Master. When is the product backlog, I can definitely associate product owner. Development team, planning and execution, self organization, make sense, Scrum Master. What do you associate Scrum Master with in this? The whole framework, you got it? The whole everything in Scrum, you can associate with the Scrum Master. So, for that reason, he is left alone, but he is not alone actually, he is actually ensuring everybody is together. 